Hey guys, so this is uh, the Gainey Thursday Rides. Uh, we meet every uh, Thursday year round, 5.30 from uh, North Scottsdale Road and Double Tree in Paradise Hill. So this 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 ride um, usually gets pretty big during the spring. Uh, you have up to 60, 70 riders out here. I know it sounds a lot and it is a lot. Um, this is already images from the main effort. Um, so we go towards the Hidden Hills and this will be Via Linda. Um, so there's a long stretch of road on Via Linda before we connect to the first hill. And we usually get on a pace line um, on this on on this occasion, we had a pretty uh, consistent group or a very even group with strong riders. So the the pace was quite steady. There were not uh, any breakaways uh, or not one that was very relevant. Usually you would have uh, a few guys show up and try to break away, but today that was not the case. So it ended up being quite steady. Uh, as you can see on the pace line, um, when you're on a pace line, you want to increase when you take a pull. You want to increase your power steady, so the guy behind you doesn't get gapped immediately. Um, and also, when you move to the left, um, you also want to reduce your power a little bit, so the the the, the line or the pace line that is on the left moving backwards uh, gets. Um, or it starts to move backwards and actually the guys that are taking pulls uh, start to move, move ahead. Um, if there was wind, you always want the pace line to move out of the way towards the wind. So let's imagine here, uh, let's assume the wind was coming from the left side here. Uh, so when I go to the front and take a pull, um, I'm, I'm going from the uncovered position to the covered position or the, from the covered position to uncovered. Um, so this will be the first hill. This is Desert Cove. Um, it's about one minute or two minutes, two minutes. Uh, we go to the gate um, and we turn back, basically. Uh, if you're new to this group um, and you want to try it out, if you get gaps on the first hill, you know that eventually we'll be coming down. Uh, we go down, uh, every short hill obviously has, it's followed by a downhill. You can't really tell how steep the hills here are, but I would say most of them are like 5-6%, so nothing super crazy steep. Um, enough to uh, create gaps if there are people struggling at the back. Um, so this will be back to the main, uh, I would say, rows. Uh, and back to this and on to the second hill. The second hill is Via Linda. Uh, we do it again all the way to the gate. Um, on the last Thursday of each month, of, of each month, we'll go, uh, we'll take this same route, but we'll extend Via Linda all the way to the top of Adara Canyon with a regroup at the top. As you can see, the, the pace was quite steady. Uh, we had, again, strong riders but um, everyone was kind of chilling and just taking their time at the front not really trying to break away um, we had a very big group today um, usually on the spring you you do get a lot of people in between groups so uh, if there is a gap that opens there's someone bridging up and the pack just gets bigger and bigger um, towards the summer um, here, Sam taking a, a pool uh, close to the top. You can't really tell this is uphill, uh, but trust me, uh, it is. <laughs> um, towards the end, usually someone attacks on this main hill. On this case here, Eric uh, attacks, then uh, Rick uh, tried to follow. Uh, it started to open up a gap. Uh, but again, because this was towards the end of the main hill um, and we were turning back uh, that it's followed by a big descent so again if, if you get dropped on, on one any of these hills just be sure that 
Uh, we'll be coming back eventually, so you can always turn back. Um, the group was already pretty stringed out. Um, on the descent, I always take the time to either relax a little bit, uh, regroup, regain some energy, regain some, uh, regain, re regain my breath, uh, drink, uh, fuel, and so on. So this will be the third hill. The third hill is 136. Um, this is a tricky hill because you're coming from the, the hardest one onto this one. This is very short one. Uh, I think it takes less than a minute to go to the top. Um, but it's it's long enough to create some gaps. As you can see at the front, there's a small attentive attempt of breaking away. So Eric is there. I think that's Stolman uh, as well. Sam followed. But the group was uh, pretty big, so it, it was not easy to get away. Uh, back onto Violenda. Uh, we are on the return trip already. Uh, this is another place where it's good for uh, a long, steady pace line. Uh, this is slightly downhill, so we, we can go pretty fast here. Um, I'm here at the front, but obviously with St. George coming up next weekend, I really don't didn't want to overreach too much, so I was I didn't spend too much time at the front on this occasion. Uh, again, the pace was pretty steady. Um, we had we had a really nice morning um, during this this uh, time of the year. Uh, you get you do need a front light, but you, most of the ride uh, ends up being during the day. Um, so we now will go into the fourth hill. Uh, on the fourth hill, uh, it's kind of pretty much the same. Uh, short hill, uh, we'll eventually be coming back, we'll turn back uh, at the top. And on this occasion, I actually uh, got my, the camera got loose, so I had to turn it off uh, and grab it. Um, but as you can see, the, the loop was so big that it was really no point. It was by no means a slow uh, main effort, uh, but it was very steady. Uh, and in terms of time and people there at the back, if you stay at the back, uh, you okay. would be fine. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you for watching.